that. Well, on September 7th, the Chiefs are at home for a season opener, and they'll play the Detroit Lions right here on KSNT. But before the season officially kicks off, some team ambassadors were busy at work in Manhattan. I got to talk with two former players and the Chiefs ZM creator, whose love for the team is getting an honor he's been waiting for. I love this one. It's the one I really wanted to have him bring because it's symbolic of my collection. The Lombardi Trophy is in the house, in the Chiefs Seum house to be exact. Yeah. This Lombardi is the trophy the Chiefs won back in 2020 against San Francisco. And these rings, they are both from the Chiefs' most recent Super Bowl wins. You may remember back in 2020, I sat down with Kurt Herman as he was waiting to get his Guinness World Record for his collection of sports memorabilia. At the time, he had 642 items. As of right now, I'm at 1,494. His collection more than doubled in items since then, and it's caught the attention of so many people. In Manhattan, Kansas, the world's largest collection of Chiefs sports memorabilia is in Manhattan, Kansas. One day, Kurt picked up the phone and heard this voice on the other end. It was John Lohmeyer. Lohmeyer used to wear the number 87 back in 1973. He was a defensive lineman and played four seasons with the Chiefs. I was so, uh, I was so excited. It was like finally they you know I'm getting some recognition um, from the Chiefs, and you know that's that was very very important to me I guess to get that recognition, but. Uh, like I said, I think it's it's not just for me, it's for all fans, you know, because we're all, we're, there's a lot of big fans out there, and and uh, to get this recognition just uh, means the world to me. He came across Kurt's collection while reading the news, so John picked up the phone and set up a time with Kurt to make the trip out to the Little Apple to see the collection in person. Lohmeyer put together the visit with John McGraw. McGraw used to play at K-State and finish his NFL career in KC. They are both now Chiefs ambassadors. This is a group of former Kansas City Chiefs players who support their community with local scholarship programs, charitable visits, and more. You try to imagine what you're going to see and you just there's no way it's like you can't do it justice. This is an amazing collection uh, of Chiefs memorabilia. Kurt's done a, just an amazing job putting all this together and um, I think is very representative of how amazing the Chiefs fans and Chiefs kingdom is. The ambassadors didn't show up empty handed. They even added to the collection, giving him a signed football from former K-State player turned Chiefs defensive end Felix Anudike Uzama. Yeah, thank you. For the man putting all this work in to show his love for the team, days like this mean more than any of us could imagine. I've had a lot of people say, well, you've got to be, you're the biggest Chiefs fan ever. And it's like, no, not really, because there's a lot of us. There's a lot of big Chief fans out there. I'm just one among many of them. Kurt's next goal is to get Patrick Mahomes himself to come out to the Chiefs Museum. Now, Kurt says he might stop collecting once he hits 2,000 pieces in his collection or when Patrick Mahomes gets there, whichever one comes first. Now, what was it like <laughs> seeing it for the uh, at least the second time? I mean, this is actually maybe my third, third time yeah. because we did the story with him, the first news station to do it with him back in 2020. And I'm just I'm so proud of him <laughs> and how far he's come. So it's it's great. I 